Citations. Welcome to Death of a Pet. This is a horror game made by Andres Benade. I feel this is going to hit me more emotionally than it is going to be like a frightening sort of game. Due to the fact that uh, this kind of hits home with me losing a couple of my favorite dogs in the past decade. So we're going to go ahead and start this up. And uh, yeah, I do apologize for the lack of uploads. I should be uploading a whole lot more often considering that it's the month of Halloween. But um, I don't know, I just haven't really been feeling the mood. And plus, this might be the last time you'll ever see me until like Akai or White Day 2 comes out. Alright, let's go ahead and start this. He got exactly what he deserved. What? Well, that came out of nowhere. Um, okay, go home. Ah, uh, this is my home. A dog cage. The cage had a note that says, sorry. Oh no. But wait, look at this cute little dog. Hmm, what should I name you? Ooh, you get to actually name your dog. This should be interesting. Um... Yeah, I miss that dog so much. I could have named it Choi too. What do you think about Rockstar Doggy? Let's go inside Rockstar Doggy. Oh wait, it was probably a bad idea that I called it Rockstar Doggy. I saw the screenshot. I was very unpleased. Alright, so I'm tired. So we'll go ahead and go to bed. Come on, Rockstar Doggy. Keep you inside here so nobody hurts you. Because I know it, eventually Rockstar Doggy's gonna die. For the second time. That was my favorite dog of all time. So losing her again. It, it's definitely gonna smash me in my heart. Oh yeah, get dressed, okay. Uh, where do I do that? Not here. Um... You put your wardrobe in a different room? That's kind of strange. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get out here then. So what was the beginning all about? Is that foreshadowing something? Uh, where's Rockstar Doggy? Are you in here? It's kind of dark. Alright, well I guess I'll leave you be until then. Find Rockstar Doggy before going for a walk. Yeah, I thought the whole point was to go on a walk. Shouldn't we find a leash for her first? Like, I don't want to leave my dog here. Unsupervised. There you are. Oh, cool little doggy. <laughs> Alright. So I'll take my time with the walk because I don't want to lose Rockstar Doggy. She's too precious to me. I want to cherish every moment. So yeah, she died way too early. A lot of people assume that she just died because she died. I'm not sure why they think that. <laughs> She died because she got killed. That's what hurt me about it. She was only like five years old. Oh wow. It's already uh, the afternoon. Seems like the day and night size goes a little bit weird in this game. No, I wasn't expecting like this bird's eye view of the gameplay. I like it though. She was very um, Camp Sunshine-esque. Don't get into the road. Where's all the pedestrians? I haven't seen like a single pedestrian in the game. And I like how the dog looks like a taro that's following me. <laughs> if you look at the shadow at least. Or it's like a mini dinosaur. Or it could be a Lapras. I don't know, should I be worried? Should I actually go run? No, let's not run. I don't want to lose her. Yeah, it's getting dark really fast. <laughs> this concerns me. Yeah, we're just going around the block. How many steps would this be considered then? It only feels like I'm going like 500 steps for the entire day. But considering like in this day and night cycle, it's probably been like 10 or 20,000 steps. Hate to bring up fitness, but you know, that's my life now. Ever since all of, like, the body shaming comments. I've been sucked into the fitness world. I love it, though. 
And I love that we're going on these walks. It's better to move most of the day than sit. Yeah, anyway. I'm only going to be playing Akai and White Day 2 because I love the developers of those games, so I have to give them all the support that I can. Not really doing it for getting promoted by the audience or anything. I don't give a crap about the audience. I mean, there's a whole reason why I've been calling out comments. A lot of people are exaggerating it, too. They say I'm calling everybody out, but I've only called out two comments at this point. I haven't called out any other comments. What a great walk. Let's go home, Rockstar Doggy. Wait, so are we already back in the loop? Is this the home? Yeah, it is. Alright, get inside. There you go. So we're gonna go to bed now. We're gonna wait for Rockstar Doggy to come in. There you are. I love the companion walk. I love these sort of games that have like a companion walking with you. The Rockstar Doggy just... I don't see a Rockstar Doggy in here. How'd she leave? How'd you get over here? She must have opened the door herself. I feel a little bit iffy about this. Okay, so we're getting dressed again. And, uh, kaboom boom, where are you? Are you here? There you are. Another day, another walk. <laughs> this seems like it's gonna get monotonous. Just going around the lap over and over. I mean, at least, like, the time zone goes by pretty quick. Not that that quite matters if this is the gameplay. This is like nobody around too. I don't think I should be that concerned about losing Rockstar Doggy. I know, I'm, I'm gonna try to go for a run on this one. Hopefully I don't get a game over. I just hope that she can keep up. Oh. She spawns right behind me. Okay, well that works then. I'll continue running. It's kind of like Pokemon Go, then. Because <laughs> if you run too fast in Pokemon Go, like, your Pokemon spawns right behind you. I like that option. I don't like leaving my Pokemon behind. But yeah, now that I've lost all my favorite dogs, uh, I wouldn't say all I have left is Abby. I still have Bella, but... The problem with, like, hanging out with Bella is that her father's always next to her. Rockstar Doggy. One of these days we will reach the peak of fitness. Haha. <laughs> Let's go home. Sure will. I like that. Your pet is the best gym partner. Think about that. Wish I could say the same about Bella, but Bella doesn't uh, like to go on walks with me as much as I wish she did. Dang, I need water. Okay. Go ahead and get them water, then. Oh. Chug, chug, chug. It's like a big glass there. Where is Rockstar Doggy? Why does she keep leaving the room? Oh, there you are. How'd you get in the wardrobe? Come on, now. Back to bed. If you're ever gonna have a pet, always keep him inside with you. Unless... He or she needs to go pee or something. Or, you know, have like a litter box. Get dressed. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting that. Okay, let's go. Can I go outside? Oh, we have to find the key? Where's the key? There's a key. Who the heck put the key here? Um, probably Rockstar Doggy? She's been leaving the room somehow. Oh, the newspaper. Oh no. There seems to be a burglar on the loose in our neighborhood, Rockstar Doggy. We best be careful while we take our walks. You know, you could... Wait, do you have a car? Oh, I can't leave Rockstar Doggy. Why is she not following me? Where is she? Sorry, the lighting is terrible in this game. Close the door. And now let's go for our runs. 
You're gonna spawn behind me, so I think we'll be fine. I really miss Choi, though. I love that dog a lot. But Rockstar Dog is gonna have to go right on top of be my favorite dog because she makes me laugh in so many different ways. Um, but Choi? Choi loves to just want to get pet all the time. Like, that's his priority. Like, if he wanted to chase a cat, he will wait for me to pet him first before chasing after the cat. At least we did not get robbed. Alright. Let's go home. I mean, it's good to know. Uh, home. Is it over here? There it is. Get inside, Rockstar Doggy. Close that door. Sleep in my bed with me. Why aren't the lights on during, like, daylight? Ain't that kind of bothers me? Like, I know it's daytime outside, but it's, like, super hard to see inside the house. My gosh, close the door. There we go. I barely slept last night. I'm too stressed about this neighborhood burglar. You know, I still sleep in peace. I can't lose Rockstar Doggy again. Uh, I mean, I can't lose Rockstar Doggy too. Uh, well, time for a walk. Is this foreshadowing something? Uh, I gotta get dressed. I remember this time. I think Rockstar Doggy's following me this time. At least I thought. I saw her in here. There you are. Just went for a pee. <laughs> Just went to the bathroom and took a little pee pee. I see you, but you're not getting out the door. There you are. Alright, let's go for a run again. <laughs> Should be checking that weight too. I don't see the point of like doing all this cardio and not checking the weight after. I think maybe this guy's just increasing his endurance, that's it. He probably doesn't care too much about his weight. Wait, does he eat anything? <laughs> like, it doesn't mention him like eating anything. He just goes out and do cardio every day. No chores, nothing. He doesn't even feed the dog, how terrible is that? The neighborhood seems so peaceful. It seems almost impossible that we could have a burglary problem around here. That's because there's no pedestrians. So it's kind of strange that there was like a burglar around here. And you go again, Roxbulldiggy. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and go to sleep. Inside. Gotta watch out for them big letters. Oh shoot, what was that sound? What? I keep telling you, Rockstar Doggy, quit leaving the dang room! Oh no, Rockstar Doggy! What the freak have they done to you? They? they they're probably still inside the house. I need to get back to the bedroom and call emergency services. Okay, oh. Can I pick up that knife? I'll get that guy. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, oh. Open that door. Oh, that was close. Where'd he go? Operator, emergency services. What's your emergency? There's someone in my freaking house. They killed my dog. Try to stay, try to keep calm. Where are you? Uh, 43 Tilt Lane. Please hurry, send help. An officer is on his way, stay put. He despawned. My phone died. Wait for the officer. What, you're free? The, the, the burglar spawned. Unspawned. Despawn. My gosh. I'm losing my terms here. Do you not have a window? Hmm. I don't know of any house that doesn't have a window. Even like the farmhouse that we used to live in had windows. It was actually a trailer, it wasn't a house. Which seems kind of odd. I mean, they're here now, if you can get out. But the thing is, like, from the view that I can see, the burglar despawned. So I didn't see any point of staying in here. <laughs> he almost got us, though. You know what? I would have taken death because Rockstar Doggy already died. I'd rather be with her than be in the real world. Shoot! 
Uh, they kill my freaking dog. Go kill them. Try to keep calm. I'm going to look through the house. <laughs> it's really awkward that they... <laughs> they killed Rockstar Doggy. Can you imagine the dude's just like whispering in the officer's ear? They killed Rockstar Doggy. <laughs> Alright, there he is. Come on. Did you find anything? I found nothing. He must have escaped while I was on my way to you. Yeah, I already knew that. I saw you, dog. I'm sorry. I have to go now. I'm truly sorry. Find a shovel. I... Is it outside? Oh my gosh, I can't see anything out here. Oh, it's right here! What's it doing in the middle of just, like, the house is rotating? Dig a grave near a tree. Like that. Pick up Rockstar Doggy's corpse. Oh, this hurts me. How could I let this happen? Very Rockstar Doggy. May you rest in peace. I wonder if Rockstar Doggy was buried. I wasn't there when I saw her death, but uh, my brother and my dad were there when they found the corpse. So I have to go to bed now. Just mourn about her death. Freak my life. I remember I was like sobbing for like a week and I was depressed for a month about her death. I miss you. I should have kept you in the bedroom with me. That's what I did! You all saw it! I mean, it's not your fault, it's the game's fault. The game's like, respawning her in a different spawn point. I thought of that, a Rockstar Doggy's like magically opening the doors. <laughs> Which it kind of seems like she is. Considering, like, the doors are open when you go inside a room and see her. And that's kind of funny. Anyway, yeah. Pretty sorrowful here. Press following of, uh, Rockstar Doggy's death. Kind of glad it's not Choi, though. I'm gonna assume that Choi died of old age. She was actually, not she, he was actually captured by Animal Rescue. Saw the photos, we tried to get Rockstar, not Rockstar Doggy, Choi back, but Red Animal Rescue wouldn't give Choi back. It's not the same without Rockstar Doggy. I'm like specifically blaming it on myself though, because I cared so much about YouTube that I'd rather spend all my time on YouTube than spend time with Choi. And now I freaking lost him. I hate myself for that. I hope that freak dies. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and dress up again. Visit Rockstar Doggy's grave. I miss you so much, Rockstar Doggy. I did not even have you for a week. You know, that's kind of funny. You didn't have her for a week, but you trusted Rockstar Doggy enough to walk with you without a leash. I think it's really interesting. Actually, maybe that does kind of make sense. Because when I first met Rockstar Doggy, she immediately trusted me. I've never actually walked Rockstar Doggy myself, but... I mean, considering, like, how she reacts around me, I assume that she'd actually walk with me. Unlike Bella, where Bella likes to just hunt for anything that she finds. When I had Bella on a leash, she never wants to walk with me. She's always trying to go in her own direction. Rockstar Doggy, on the other hand, I didn't exactly walk her, but we did walk around the backyard and she always followed me. I like a dog like that. Even Choi did that. I just wish that I could have a dog that I didn't have to put a leash on. But I don't think I'm a good owner of my own dog. I would have let Rockstar Doggy sleep in this bed. Yeah, you already did that! It's the game's fault, it's not your fault. 
All right, so back to bed. Ugh, I'm thirsty. So it's basically doing like a repetitive cycle here, just without the dog. So the water tastes terrible, according to him. Why don't you just go to the grocery store and just buy water? Get some Purify one. Well, maybe I should just end my freaking... What? Freaking end myself. I think he has the right idea. The dude left the knife over here. But the knife disappeared. Okay, so we're getting dressed. Yeah, why'd the knife disappear? Oh yeah, Ruckster Doggy's Grave. I kind of like the scenic view here. Ruckster Doggy, I'm so sorry. I could have prevented this whole thing. No, you couldn't. Your little dog there has like magical paws that can open up doors. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's kind of funny to think about. <laughs> <laughs> Opens the door with like two balls. <laughs> oh my gosh. I could imagine that. You know, the funny thing is, Rockstar Doggy does do that though. But when I'm like playing with her, I use my hand to just like mess around with her face. She always uses both her paws to just like push it over and just twist my arm. I love that dog so much. Yeah, I feel like this is m the majority of the gameplay. It's just me walking around the block. I think this is a little monotonous. I think they need to, like, tune the gameplay of this down a bit. But, I mean, that's fine. At least we got, like, some story here. It's just they need to tone it down with the walk around the block gameplay. Alright, so I'm tired. Well, you haven't... How much energy do you... I don't know, maybe it's because he's not consuming any calories, he just needs water. All he needs is water to survive. Because he's freaking a Namekian. I should get a plumber to inspect these pipes. The water tastes like crap. It's you! You killed my freaking dog! Burglar. I didn't- I'm calling the freaking cops! Oh, he's gonna murder me. Freak, my phone is dead. Alright, find the burglar? Oh, he's outside? He's like the only person in this game. His car is an oil lake. I could see it on the sidewalk. I will know where he lives. Okay. So we're now we're following the oil leak. Dude should have, uh, inspected his car before taking off and burglarizing people. Doesn't seem like the sharpest tool in the shed, if I'm gonna be honest here. So wait, is he doing the same thing where he goes around the block but in a car? Dude thinks he's getting his steps by driving a car around. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, you know, he's probably playing Pokemon Go. He's looking for that Gyarados. Well, you're not gonna find a Gyarados out here. I have, though, at the park once. Let's see... There he is. Wow, he just drove right into the sidewalk. Do they not have a parking space anywhere? Okay. So yeah, you know he murdered your dog. Look around the house for a window to peek into. I mean, there's plenty of, like, windows to peek into. But we'll try the back. That window's curtains are open. I could peek through it. Oh no, he has a doggy. He owns a dog. Freak him. I'm going home. I can already sense what he's gonna do. Just because of a human's actions, I don't think another animal should suffer just because of it. I think that's peccant behavior. But I don't know, that's subjective. But I really don't think that a human should kill another animal just because a human killed his pet. Oh, we're going to Rockstar Doggy's grave. I will avenge you. I'm so sorry, Rockstar Doggy. Go to bed. Yeah, sure. I don't know if I should call the police. I mean, I think you should. 
I mean, that's the more sensible thing to do. Oh, I'm getting dressed. I keep forgetting that. I wish you were still here. I could really say the same thing. She made my day every single day. You had no idea. I loved visiting her. I mean, the cops are already aware of his burglary, and he left an oil leak, so... It should be a clear arrest. <laughs> like, I cannot believe you're not gonna call the cops. I think that's ridiculous. I assume he's gonna stop right at the block, yep. The burglar lives down this road. I wonder if he's home. Alright, so yeah, he lives down right here. You just leave this oil lake, it hasn't rained at all, so I assume we live in California. His car is here. His car is here. <laughs> I wish I could just call the police, but I can't. What do you mean you can't? Because then I would not be able to do something to him myself. I should probably start heading home. I mean, technically that's doing something. You're getting him arrested. Did we just go straight into his house? Finish my walk? But I'm in house. <laughs> Is he even home? I don't see him at all. <laughs> okay, that's strange. Not sure why he's not in his house. I mean, you could, like, bust his car. I don't know. Vandalize something. Just don't kill the dog, please. Do anything but that. I have to do something. Yep, I can already sense it. He's going to kill the dog. <sighs> I mean, I felt like the beginning kind of foreshadows it. I need a knife. Yep. Okay. Oh, well, you had a knife here last time. Yet somehow... Oh, you, you put it in the bathroom. Visit Rockstar Doggy's grave. I will avenge you, my senpai. This is for you. Go to the burglar's house. Oh, this is gonna get nasty. I'm not gonna like this part. And I'm sorry if I'm not playing a game that's not as scary. Considering it's freaking Halloween month. But, um, I consider this more of a warm-up before I play more... Games that are more daunting than this. This is not quite as daunting as I was expecting it to be. Yeah, you're coming for the dog. Because the burglar's not here, his car's gone! Break into the burglar's house. Well, I did that yesterday, but I guess we'll do it now. Find and kill the burglar's dog. Uh, felt really iffy about that. Oh, there you are. Let's just make this quick. Find and kill the burglar's dog. What I just did! You've already done enough damage! <sighs> I didn't like doing that. I hope this stings. It's not the dog's fault. It's the human. You hope it stings just because your owner was the one that's a piece of crap? It's not in this room. He's not gonna be in any of the rooms. This car's not there. What were you thinking? If you wanted to avenge the guy, go for him and not the dog. Wow, this guy's an idiot. Ah. Not here. Ah. Freak. He's not in the house. Of course he's... Yeah, this guy is not the sharpest tool in the shed either. Okay. I mean, think about it. Why would the burglar come to your house twice? Well, I guess as I said, not the sharpest tool in the shed. Burglarizing the same house? Is it just specifically my house, though? Wait, no, no, no. The newspaper said that he burglarized someone else's house. Unless he was in a different neighborhood. But I'm kind of doubting that. He got exactly what he deserved. Wait, didn't he just say that at the beginning? Oh, this is starting right from the beginning. A dog cage? Yeah, so it's an ongoing loop. See, I thought the weird was kind of weird. Did I just say the weird is kind of weird? I thought the beginning was kind of weird. 
Yep, so it's looping. Interesting. So what does that say about the burglar? Does he have, like, a fetish of, um, sending people free dogs and then killing them out after a few days? I don't know, are, are there two burglars that are, like, doppelgangers? Like, there could be, like, a lot of theories that could come out of this. I assume that the burglar just has a fetish of people getting free dogs and then killing them afterwards. He gets a turn on from that. What a weirdo. Freaking lustrous middle-aged man. I wasn't as emotional as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just weird. But hey, I'd say it's more emotional than this one game I played seven years ago called The Purtail. With The Purtail, it's opposite. Like, the owner kills himself, and you play as a cat. I think I would have liked this game a little bit more if it was in first person, but I didn't mind the gameplay of this either. I just thought it was just way too repetitive with walking around the block. I felt like that could have been sped up a little bit. Or at least, like, something to be happening, like, throughout the blocks. Like, you notice, like, someone else's house getting burglarized. So you try to be extra cautious in the few days. But it just turns out, nope, it's a more peaceful neighborhood. But the thing about it being a peaceful neighborhood is that there's only, like, one NPC, and that's the burglar. We're not counting the dog. Or his dog, either. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this playthrough of Death of a Pet. I guess I'll wrap this up by showing clips of all of my favorite dogs here. Oh, <laughs> that tickles. What's up? What? Cho, cho, cho. You snuggly doggly, you. You snuggly doggly, you. Um, I don't want to go that way, Cho. Cho, 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 cho. <laughs> high five, high five. Wait, high five. <laughs> what the f? <laughs> I can't bear to get up. <laughs> hey, what the f are you doing? You don't do that. You don't do that. Of course, be sure to follow Andrews Benade and see what his other horror game projects are like. Also, consider becoming a channel member. That's where I'll be once I retire from YouTube publicly. I just released the first episode of my complaint series, and no, it's not some sort of dumb cancel culture content. I'm just giving my feedback on what I wish to see better in the future. And I'll see you all in the next video. Hopefully I'm a little bit more consistent because it's almost Halloween. And I'm not going to be here during Halloween because I'll be in Atlanta. Alright, bye bye listen girls.